Well, there is another big reopening today in Northeast Ohio. The Cleveland Metro Park Zoo welcomes back guests this morning and checking it all out. Austin Love, he is live there. And Austin, what do people need to know if they're planning on checking out the zoo? Wait a minute, that's not Austin. Are hey, you there? Hey, good morning to you, Dave. Yeah, check it out. Yeah, I met my new friend Forrest here. Forrest, the rhinoceros, and he's hanging out here in the new rhino uh, exhibit that they have here at the Cleveland Metro Park Zoo. And the first thing that you need to know when you come to the Cleveland Metro Park Zoo is that you need to get tickets online. They have set reservations for you when you walk in. Of course, keep social distance and masks are optional. And talking more about this, we have Dr. Chris Kuhar. And Dr. Kuhar, what, what do people need to know when they come here and what's the experience that they're going to be getting? Well, first of all, we want to welcome everybody back, right? And you mentioned uh, getting tickets online. We're going to be opening with a reduced capacity, so we want you to get that reservation online. So if you want to come out to the zoo, you know that you can get in that day. Uh, we will be selling tickets at the box office, but there's going to be a capacity. So we want you to try to get those tickets online to guarantee your spot. But once you get in, all the outdoor exhibits will be open. You can come see Daniel Maltz Rhino Reserve, uh, see Forest and the girls. Um, and we're going to be really emphasizing cleaning and social distancing. So you'll see some one way paths. You'll see some areas that are closed. Some of the indoor spaces will be closed, um, but we're really trying to really emphasize that social distancing and cleaning. Absolutely. And let's talk about the, the new exhibit that we're standing at right now. It's gorgeous, brand new right now that you guys are able to do this during a pandemic. And this is something you're looking right now at Forrest, who's getting a little breakfast, a little carrot breakfast right now. And, and tell us about Forrest. And uh, I mean, I'm, I'm wondering how, how much does this guy weigh? So, so Forrest is somewhere in the neighborhood of 2,500 pounds. Um, oh my gosh. Yeah, on carrots, right? Yeah. So, um, so we've had really good success breeding our Eastern black rhinoceros. Um, we've had two calves in the past couple of years, um, but we need a little bit more space. So you have the Walt Care Culber uh, Rhino Barn there in the back. This is the Gene Culber yard. The Daniel Maltz rhinos are, you know, doubles the space that we have for our rhinos. So it's a great guest experience. It's great for the rhinos to talk about our conservation messaging. Cool. What's been the biggest challenge in reopening? Uh, you know, we just were doing cruise at the zoo for the past four weeks. So we really transitioned from a drive through experience to a walkthrough experience in two days. Uh, so the team's been amazing getting everything up and running. Um, just really trying to focus on guests and making sure that the guests are safe, making sure that our staff are safe. You're going to see all of us wearing masks when you come to the zoo. And then really making sure the animals are safe as well. So balancing all that's been a challenge, but we're ready for it. All right, thanks so much for your time. And this is something you can come uh, check out here at the zoo, the brand new rhinoceros exhibit. Come meet our friend uh, Forrest here, 2,500 pounds, Dave. Definitely uh, pretty impressive stuff over here and all on carrots, how about that? So um, also, Dave, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm adding another mask to my collection. I got one from the Rock Hall earlier today. I got one now from the Cleveland Metro Park Zoo. So I'm, I'm just collecting all these different masks. So it's, uh, it's not too bad. I love it. You've been like a caged animal in your apartment so often. You're getting all these cool places <laughs> Seriously, now. Seriously, I know. Right? Yeah. I'll tell you what. I love it. Yeah, a yeah? little, little gift for me. Good feelings being out at the zoo live this morning. I got to tell you, it goes a long way. Austin, thank you for that good stuff. Also reopening today, the Akron Zoo. They will have lots of social distance markers, one-way pathways, and more hand sanitation stations. Indoor buildings will also be closed as they are doing time ticketing, which you will need to buy in advance.